at any given time, at uh -huh. fully operational, uh -huh. we'll be having 1,200 uh -huh. animals. Yes. Cows. Yes. Uh, for the goats, at any given time, we're uh -huh. talking about 10,000. Yes. At any given time. Matt Mudama here at uh, Marrene Feedlot. Marrene Feedlot, we are quality breeders of uh, Buran, Buran cattle. Yes. And uh, we've just started uh, less than three, four, five months old. Mm -hmm. uh, the infrastructure is quite new and uh, we're doing it right. What you can see, this is a feedlot, one hectare. It's uh, 25, 50 meters by 200 meters. Mm -hmm. So we've provided the shade, we've provided the feeding trough and also the water troughs. One key thing that uh, must be considered is water and the feeds. Yes. So I'll just show you, this is the ending. Mm -hmm. the, the first part is the farm, yes. where the feed, where the name feedlot yes. starts from. Yes. Yes. So feed and the lot. Yes. So the feed is there, this yeah. is the lot. Matt, yes. before you proceed, yes. Uh, there's a, I've, I've, I've had people confusing yes. feed lot yes. with zero grazing. Yes. What's the difference? Uh, it depends with your English teacher yes. and how you look at it. Mm -hmm. Both of them, mm -hmm you provide feed yes. and it's a constrained uh, constrained uh, uh, area, area. now with a feedlot mainly feedlot are associated with uh, fattening mm -hmm. and uh, zero grazing are associated with dairy yes. basically that is there the that difference. is the mainest difference yes. but it's the same concept yeah so in in feedlotting yes you would, you would say it's uh, where you lock them to feed them intensively yeah. for a specific period of time yes uh, to fatten it for the market no yes. uh, if you if you can, you can look at it at that angle yes. however you see now me i'm a breeder yes i'm doing it on a feedlot yes and then i also have another section where i'm fattening mm -hmm. and uh selling off the the animals uh, so these are the breeding stock mm -hmm. as you can see most of them are with the the kids yes we let the kids be with them so mm -hmm. th even them for them to learn yes and then after a while we'll take them to the first feed lot yes. they they eat from there yes. from there is when i'll select mm -hmm. the ones i'll use for fattening and the ones that i'll use for uh for breeding yes um in a month's time mm -hmm. all this will be registered mm -hmm. uh there is an organization in kenya called the kenya stud we're going to register all these and the best of the best yes so that now we start doing the proper breeding for the animals oh, okay we are measuring which which breed is this uh, uh this is boran oh this boran yes we are the white one is still boran it's still boran okay we are mixing we want to do you want to measure with boran mm -hmm. cywals mm -hmm. limousine mm -hmm. cementos yes and the brahman the brahman yes yes okay yes all this all this our major thing is the f uh, f uh, beef we are not doing any dairy, the goal, zero dairy. The goal is beef. Yes. So even in the good, in the in 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 dairy sector, yes. One of the major uh, hurdles. Yes. It's the cost of feed. Yes. So at least in the dairy, yes, they get milk. Yes. So the farmer gets something. Yes. Uh, at the end of the month to at least uh, boost his, uh, you know, yes, uh, yes, yes, yes. Here. Yes. You don't get any milk. Yes. So you only get money once yes. you sell the, the yes. animal. Very true. So that that, that 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 again now means yes the investment has to be a bit higher than the yes dairy. intense a bit intense yes it's a bit intense yes yes and and eventually yes does it make sense a lot of sense basically yeah. where we all go wrong as farmers mm. we start from the known to the unknown yes instead of starting from the unknown to the known yes what happens eh? mm -hmm. uh, in a feedlot start with the feeds. Mm -hmm. Uh, I've, 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 I've dedicated almost 80 acres of this land mm -hmm. on growing of the feeds. And the feeds that have grown at, the, at, at first, I've done the maize. Yes. And sorghum and uh, some um, uh, panicum grass. Okay. So I'm looking first at the feeds. 70% mm -hmm. of my expenses are already so sorted. Yes. That is where we all go wrong. Yes. If you started with the feeds, forget about the animals first. Mm -hmm. Start with the feeds. Yes. I'll show you that I... I have a storage of uh, almost 12 months. Yes. For 1,000 animals. For one th yes, for 1,000 animals. Matt. Yes. This is a big piece of land. Eh? Yes. Not big. Enough. Enough. Yes. Let me ask you. Yes. Why would you constrain your animals when you can just let them roam free? Roaming freely yeah. is the worst thing. It is the worst thing that you can ever do to your animals. Yeah. Number one. Yeah. Why I'm talking about it's the worst thing. Uh -huh. 
how do you call this? Uh, the worst thing, because if I feed them from here, mm -hmm. I know the amount. Yes. I've controlled a lot of things. Number one, the ticks that are controlled. Yes. This animal does not need a lot of energy. Oh, no, 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 they are, they, are, they, are, they are controlled. Mm -hmm. They are controlled. Eh? Mm -hmm. Now these animals, they know when to take water mm -hmm. and where. And the feed is readily available. Yeah. So the energy that is preserved, mm -hmm. rather than the one that is taking laps around the world, it's, it's two different things. Yes. So uh, you source these animals from different farms? Yes. And uh, they will come here as uh, mature animals? Yes. Not... not yeah, yeah, some, mature, some mature, right? yes, yes, yes. That's the right stage? Yes. For your purpose? For my purpose, that's the right stage. Yes. And that is what I would really advise to any other farmer. Yeah, so when, when you're in a, in, a, in a farm, yes, uh, trying to acquire an animal, yes, uh, obviously you're looking for a healthy blah, blah, blah animal. Yes. Kind, kindly demonstrate to me. Yes. Uh, when, like you're in a farm, yes. what exactly are you looking for? What Come, features? Let me show you. Mainly, most of these females have been born from here. Oh, they are, they are seen while they are mooing. Uh -huh. There's a group of another animal yeah, and yeah, some other oh, yeah. passing from some outside. Yes. So now these ones think they are still this. related. Ah. Uh, so that's why they are mooing all over. Where to Amgundani? Uh, I'll show you. Yes, yes. Let yes. me show you why why we've done this chopping. Eh? Mm -hmm. This chopping helps a lot. Yes. So the animal doesn't take any energy. Yes. See? while uh, like chewing yes so a lot of energy is preserved from the mouth it mm -hmm. starts the, pre the preservation starts from there okay. so this one the work is just to eat and to wait and grow yes yes however i get some very little milk for my workers for them even them to eat yes so it makes some sense for them ah. yeah, now come, let me show you there, there are some cubs yes yeah. so we are uh, in no. the market, eh? Yes. What am I looking at when I'm trying to acquire an this, animal? You see, when you go to the market, the first thing, uh -huh. this is my breeding bull. Yes. Eh? The one that is usually Ndume Akobizi. Yes. He's here. Now he's here actually to entice the women. Mm -hmm. Once they are full mm -hmm. and then the salts are balanced very nice. Yes. Now he explains to them, uh -huh. when, when, it comes to, when it comes to the mating, eh? uh -huh. he already knows. Yes. So he does his things very right. Uh -huh. And then he's... He's, uh, he's full, mm -hmm. so he doesn't lack anything. Yes. Yes. So when you're looking, mm -hmm. there are those physical things when you're going, looking. Yeah. Look at the muscle, look at the structure. Mm -hmm. Look at the way he's standing out. Mm -hmm. Yes. This one is uh, 71 kgs. Yes. The other one is 781. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this time round, I want this one to reproduce, to give me the, 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 new, the new generation. Yes. And then another thing with cows, eh? mm -hmm. not cows alone, mm -hmm. even animals, eh? mm -hmm. you try and massage them, mm -hmm. they also understand you. Yes. They feel and they enjoy. If you are not happy, the animal is not happy. Yes. That's one thing you so, need to understand. So when it flaps the... How do you tell, how do you tell uh, the age of an animal? A, a, a bull like that one? Uh, okay, the, you look at the teeth. Mm -hmm. This one you need like to look at the teeth and uh, you, you also try and follow the records from the farm, from the farm. that you're getting from. Ah, okay. Uh, and these are reputable farms. Okay. They would not want to fumble with them. Eh? With the with the ages or small things that small data that would affect them. Yes. Yeah. So I asked you earlier. Yes. Uh, where you source your animals? Different and you, farms. And you told me. Yes. Uh, it's never in a market. Yes. In ah! a livestock market. Nah. Let me let me be very clear. Mm -hmm. Anybody who goes to buy an animal from the market, mm -hmm. just and then you put it in a feedlot, mm -hmm. you are in for a rude shock. Go source out, go to even people's farms. Mm. You, you'll get the best. Anything that is usually brought to the market yes. are usually rejects. Yes. Yes. So, Matt, yeah. my biggest issue with the, not an issue, yeah. my biggest question yes. with the feedlot yes. in our Kenyan context yes. is usually with the genetics. Yes. The animals that you get in an affordable price yes. for fattening yes. so that after an intensive feeding, yes. you take them to the market and you get even though it's it's a small margin, you yes. get something. Yes. Are usually the borans and the zebus. Yes. That is what we have in plenty. That yes, can yes, yes, yes. And that is the best price. in the world. So my problem with those breeds, yes. they are, in terms of the body structure, yes. and the mass, they are a bit smaller uh -huh. compared to a, a breed like a, a freshian or cement. Let, or me, let me correct you. Mm -hmm. What you get, you get in breeds. Yes. If you get a pure one, mm -hmm. you know, like uh, from a nice stud and then the, the, the cow is good, yes. you get a very nice uh, animal. Yes. Originally, mm -hmm. Borans are from East Africa. Yes. And then, I do, 
East Africa specifically Kenya. Toa huyo ndani specifically Kenya. Yes. Now I don't know where we slept. Yeah. South Africa and the US came and uh, took our borans. Yes. Now they are boasting that like, borans are from South Africa and yeah. from the US. Yeah, yeah. However, originally they are from uh, ADC the one in Laikipia. Yes. That is the origin of boran, wow. the best boran animals. Yes. So uh, a, a very nice boran. This one is giving me 700 kgs. Yes. What do you mean by a small body structure? Yeah, usually. Yeah. Like, like you see, like this one. Eh? These are female. Let's yeah. go to the bulls. <laughs> yeah. This so, is not for them. This is for breeding. This is for I'll breeding. Show. Yes. So, yes. My question normally is, yes. even if you you fatten your boran, yes, very well. Yes. What's the maximum kgs that you can get? To? Eight ten. 10K, eh? Eight, 810. 810. Yes. I want to touch a bit about uh, your nutrition. Yes. These, these are mistocks. It's a mixture of many things. Mm -hmm. Yes. There's mistock. What happens? Mm. There's, uh, there's mistock. Mm -hmm. There's, uh, there's mistock. There's, uh, there's uh, panicum grass. Mm -hmm. And there's uh, some maize jam. Yes. The ratios still remain not private. Yes. They still remain uh a hidden gem yes for my specifically for marine feedlot sure. the reason i'll give you this yeah. recipe mm. you go cook it at your place ah. it doesn't give you the results and then you start you know bad mouthing me yeah, yeah, yeah so specifically that's where you go to farms they, everybody holds yes their their ratios yes spe dearly to them yes now here there's there is uh also premix for um, uh, vitamins mm -hmm. and proteins yeah proteins is quite key mm -hmm. but you give them in different Percentages, percentages with the with the bulls oh yes so the, oh, those are bulls, bulls yes please bulls. please come so let's let's yeah. look at the bulls this is my breeding one yes see you later man look at the size of the you're so proud of this one yeah, yeah. <laughs> i'm very proud because i know i can i know what it does yeah yeah no it doesn't want me to but when it gets full see now you play around with here it feels so nice yeah see you later let me show you this is a uh, side wall yes the color very nice brown yes yeah and i'm also specific yes you know I'm, uh, i have some roots from the mountain yes and then uh, in the mountain there's something called kiyama yeah. kiyama kiyama yeah. these are our colors <laughs> so <laughs> that is the origin of our the kiyama kiyama colors I, I want to i want to go back to to nutrition eh? yes uh because again that is the biggest of the biggest expense yes uh, of running a feedlot yes so how much of this whatever is in the trough yes how much is of it do you uh, produce here in the farm and how much are you buying 100 per, uh, we are we are producing 95 percent 95 percent the concentrates of five percent is what you are getting from outside okay. because you cannot do it yes there is uh, we have very, very, we have very nice concentrates from yara yes. yara yara nutrition yara ha, uh, has a line of yes. animal nutrition yes. very nice i'll okay. take you through mm -hmm. and then i can be able to show you okay yes so i'm looking at this area Mark. yes Matt, this is a, a, a very, very dry area. It's yeah. probably below average. Yes. Uh, <laughs> even the soil, it's purely white. You can look at the soil. Look at the, yeah. look at the soil structure. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So how, you, how, how are you able to, 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 to grow 95% of your feed? What happens, eh? mm -hmm. it's, you do right timing mm -hmm. uh, and you do it right. Uh -huh. Now, like uh, for, my, for my... We'll go to the farm. I'll show you the farm. Okay. Uh, we planted on the 15th of uh, November. Yes. We are harvesting our maize. Three months. Less than three months. Less than three months. Yes. yes. The, we are nine meters above sea level. Yes. The rains are below 400, for the whole year, yes. below 400 millimeters. That's below average. Yes. Yeah. So what happens, once it rains and the maize seed is in the ground yes. it hits it grows so fast yes the difference here and uh my my my, my, my motherland mm -hmm. maize a one week old maize mm -hmm. it's almost one month for my place yes so this one catch so fast yeah but it's and a warm yes you know, a the warm warmth area, the humidity yes. makes it grow so, oh, so nice. fast okay. and then the seed selection yes there are two types of seeds uh for maize that i would uh, really recommend yes i don't know if i'll be marketing for them or i just Hold it no, to that. You, you show me when we get to the okay. farm. Let's look at the other bulls. Yeah. You are so keen. Yes. Look at the food selection. Mm -hmm. It changes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For the bulls, it's slightly rougher mm -hmm. and less with concentrates. Okay. Because that one, I need more concentrate because the mother for the production, for the milk, for the kids to get the best. 
So with this one is less. Yes. And then here mm -hmm. I've just done a mix. I've, I've mixed uh, the breeding bulls mm -hmm. and the fattening bulls. Yes. But uh, in a week's time, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll uh, separate. The reason why I, I, I had to mix, mm -hmm. because I, I'm uh, so far I'm operating almost 9% yes. on the feedlot. Yes. Until the day that I'm doing 100% is yes. when now I'll are properly you, you, yes. Are you able to yeah. separate? Yes, them? yes, yes. Ah, okay. So in, in the bulls, yes. is it uh, the, the feed is higher on on protein no yeah. uh, energy energy yes Most at the moment energy. it depends yes. on this this is a starting part yes and then when uh, no it's it's high on protein at the start yes. and then energy at the begin at the end at, at the yes. end but now you see now this one, i've mixed i'm mixing uh, my breeding and uh, the ones for fattening, for fattening so yes. now that one i have to get a balance yes i just give them something that it will not fatten them so fast yes or because the breed ones don't don't need to be so big okay yes. so the, because the fattening uh, yes. the, now the fattening look at those two bulls a, yes see those two bulls mm -hmm. that one means they're already full yes so they want to exercise their energy and the rest are yes now this one there. is yes. the best anytime when you go to the farm mm -hmm. uh, any farm to buy a fattening bull yes. look at the body physique yes the height it's taller yeah yeah I, I, I use the English longer instead of taller it's longer yeah, it's longer <laughs> and then like even the body structure is longer yes this one within 90 days from today mm -hmm. starting today yes will be out of here this one will be it, uh, now it's around 250 kgs yes by then it will be 90 days from today mm -hmm. it will be between 420 to 450 kgs so that you're looking to double the the yes the kilos eh? yes yes so and then it reaches that to that point mm -hmm. i will consider does it go to the uh, do i let it go mm -hmm. or it remains here as my breeding A stock? stock yes oh, okay so now, idea, ideally mm. uh if you feed them well on uh, uh, they are supposed to be here for only three months for, the, yes, for those yes, for fattening yes, and, yes, 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 yes. and for beef. Three or less. Three or less. Yes. But if you are not very, very clear, very, very cautious, eh? yes. it can even take you half a year. Oh, okay. Oh, yes. So uh, I, I'm, I'm looking at uh, the conversion rate. Yes. Uh, what you're giving it. Yes. And the ability of the cow to convert that into weight now that when it comes to the nutrition part yes uh, i'll explain to you when yes. you're seated eh? yes i'll break it down uh -huh. where people go wrong oh okay yes nice yes now these are really really nice looking bulls yes now see now those ones have locked tons. yes you uh, now when they get full uh -huh. the, the only thing they want to vent their energy yes so by fighting that's oh, okay. the worst thing with them. yes so much yes. you mentioned that in this group we have uh, some that you'll choose for uh, breeding yes and some that will go to the slaughterman yes now what will be what will you be looking at when let you... me come and show you the criteria is very simple yes this one this one directly this is my breeding it will mean my breeding stock mm -hmm. it can either do either mm -hmm. breeding you can see the size of the, mm -hmm. the, the neck, neck eh? yes it will mean either the breeding stock mm -hmm. or uh, i sell it off yes now these other small ones mm -hmm. It's eating into my pocket. Yes. Toka kwangu. Ah, Very okay. fast. Yes. Anything that is not attaining uh, every day, don't yeah. be cheated. It attains one kg. One kg. Yes. yes. So at the end of the month, when I'm weighing it, it's anything less than 30 kgs mm -hmm. attain two per year. Get it out from yes. the from the flock. Ah, okay. Yes. So you you per day is, per day. It's one. an average of uh, between zero point. Uh, it's a three quarter kg. Yes. Or a one kg. Yes. But just one kg. Yes. Just go for one kg per day. Yes. If you get one kg per day, I'm sorted. Ah, okay. Yes. So it, any animal that is unable to convert that to at, to at least attain uh, three quarters to one kg. At yes. It has Within a month, eh? Yeah. Uh, Throw it, it out. Go. Okay. Yeah. It's eating to the pocket. Ah, okay. Yeah. This one is a good color. As I told you, I'm from the mountain. I like this color. Yeah. This two. Uh -huh. This one too. This one, mm -hmm. if you look at it, mm -hmm. it has some ankole. Yes. Traits, eh? Yes. A small head, big, bigger size, mm -hmm. but it's a mixture of ankole and uh, boran. Uh -huh. Kidogo too. Kidogo too. Uh -huh. This one is a pure boran, very nice boran. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I usually call it kichwarungu. Yes. Yeah. Kichwarungu makes a lot of sense. It looks more aggressive. Yeah. So, Matt. Yes. The, the area that uh, your animals are roaming at. Eh? Yes. Or basking. Yes. It's 50 by 50 meters. Yeah. It's quite a small area. Yeah. <laughs> so, that does, does that now uh, mean uh, in terms of uh, managing pests? Yes. Does it make it much easier? Much easier. Yes. Much easier. 
and, and then, even to identify a sick animal you can be able to see it there mm -hmm. and then yes it's a quick a quick one yeah yes. so in a feedlot system yes uh what would you say about disease and uh, disease management it's quite easy mm -hmm. Uh, and quite tricky at the same time. Yes. You need somebody, we have a resident vet, mm -hmm. uh, Dr. Tieno. Mm -hmm. you, you need to be very, 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 he needs to be up, of his, up on his game. Yes. And the resident vet, his main jobs, mm -hmm. check on the nutrition mm -hmm. and to check on the diseases okay. and to manage the diseases. Ah, okay. Yes. So are there diseases in this area that you are afraid hey, of? Hey, boss, even um, the biggest challenge in Magarini yeah. or in Kilifi, yeah. sese fly. Fly. However, the, there is an organization in charge of taking care of sese flies mm -hmm. will be on Monday. Okay. So they'll do their sese fly traps all over mm -hmm. and uh, that will be controlled. Ah, okay. Yes. But in, in, in this kind of investment yes. uh, could work anywhere, right? Anywhere. So anywhere, uh, uh, anywhere let me be very specific, anywhere mm -hmm. as long as you have feeds. Anywhere as long as you have yes, feeds. Yes, you do the feeds mm -hmm. and the water, you're okay. sorted. So that uh, the investment had nothing to do with the choice of uh, where it's going to. You did not come here specifically. No, no, no. no. I, 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 I am I in 10 years from now. Yes. The Lamu port is uh, almost uh, 100 kilometers away from me. Yes. So this will be, I can act as a holding ground. Yes. Because I want to sell, it reaches a point I want to be selling these animals live to yes. a man. Yes. So from here to Lamu makes a lot of sense. It okay. had another choice. Okay. That's why I did at the coast. Yes. Yes, because I will not air freight them. Oh, they will okay. use the sea. Ah. Yes. So that, that is what I was looking yes, at. Yes, yes. So, so it made a lot of sense. Because of where you, you anticipate your market to be. Yes. That guided your choice for where you're going to put up the investment. You didn't ask me. Yeah. At any given time, at yeah. fully operational, uh -huh. we'll be having 1,200 uh -huh. animals. Yes. Cows. Yes. Uh, for the goats, at any given time, we are talking about ten thousand. Yes. At any given time. Yes. Yes. Wow. So my target, when it comes to the Lamu port, and I just saw, we, uh, I mean, uh, Lamu Garrison Road, yes. was um quite near. You're able to. Yes, 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 Get yes. them to the market. Unlike the person who is in uh, Machakos, I don't know where, where. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm quite near. Nice. Yes. And then. Uh, I, and uh, where, where? How do you call this? Uh, another advantage, eh? mm -hmm. the heat. Yes. Even humans, eh? uh -huh. they tend to grow faster. Yeah. Uh, so that has something to do. With a lot. Yeah. A lot. A lot. A lot. Yeah. Can so, I show you this side? Let me show you my other. I was I was trying to show you anything that will not attain thirty kgs in a month. Mm -hmm. Throw it out. Yes. Technically, throw it out from there. Yes. From the heart. Oh, yeah. After ninety days, get it out. Yes. So this is your production unit. My production unit. Yes. First, it starts from the the demo land. Mm -hmm. I tried this uh, sorghum. Mm -hmm. It did so well. Mm -hmm. Now this sorghum, mm -hmm. I irrigated with saline water, Magia Bahari. Yes. Uh, you can see it performed. Uh -huh. This is Bracaria. This is Bracaria. We, yes, it has performed. Mm -hmm. So that means it will work with salt, uh, salty water. Mm -hmm. That is also Bracaria. Uh -huh. So it means. Uh, water is not the issue or the land, eh? yes. so just need to irrigate. Okay. You can see I'm also doing the demonstration. This is uh, uh, rhodes grass. Yes. Uh, of course, rhodes grass, I got it from Nakuru, yes. Kabrak dairies. Mm -hmm. It's doing a lot of uh, magic. Mm -hmm. I want to, where I'll remove the maize, mm -hmm. I'll do 100, uh, no, 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 let's say 88 acres mm -hmm. on rhodes grass. Yes. Pure rhodes grass. Yes. So now my feeds can be consistent. Ah, okay. And. Uh, uh, another shocking thing, what I noticed at the coast, mm -hmm. one acre of uh, Bracaria, mm -hmm. I'm harvesting around 200, let's say 300 bales. Yes. The same same uh, acre in uh, Nakuru, mm -hmm. you, uh, we usually harvest around 150. Uh -huh. So this one makes a lot of sense. Yeah, Bracaria. Double. Yes. Bracaria makes a lot of sense. Yes. Here, yeah? Okay. And at the coast, farming at the coast makes a lot of sense. It's faster and it, it, the, 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 the leafage is bigger. Ah, okay. Yes. So that gives you more tonnage. Yes. Nice. Uh, I think you'll be able to see this. This mm -hmm. is my shallow well. Yes. Uh, the salinity levels are very bad. Yes. But now we are looking for ways how to be able to manage it. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I took this uh, storage. Mm -hmm. My storage uh, house mm -hmm. is... Uh, it can hold 10,000 bales. 10,000 bales. 10,000 bales. Yes. But I, I want to have something that can be holding 100,000. 100, so it will be 100, it will be 10 times what I, you can see here. Mm -hmm. So I, I improvised a temporary measure mm -hmm. 
I got a greenhouse material, yes. covered my, 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 my hay, yes. and then it's ready for, for working. So th this is able, with, with your current capacity? Yes. How, how far can you go with this? Current capacity growing of the grass. No, current yeah. capacity of the animals. animals yes. Well, 13 to 12 months. 13 to 12 months. Yes. That's a year. Yes. Ah, nice. Yes. So your food secure for any any time that you are thinking uh -huh. in animals, think about the feeds first. Yes. Now, uh, before going to the milling, mm -hmm. uh, let me show you some of the storage. The grass here is panicum. Mm -hmm. It looks more of. Uh, it looks more of uh, rose grass. Yes. So nutritious. Mm -hmm. I'll show you how we've done it. Mm -hmm. It's panicum. Uh, I also have uh, um, uh, uh, 50 drums of uh, molasses. Ah, okay. Yes. So after it's milled, yes. after it's chopped. Yes. Uh, and mixed. Yes. You again mix it with the molasses. Ishish, just uh, I wanted to try, but now my cows are eating without molasses. Yeah. It's making sense. I'm doing. Uh, it's making a lot of sense. It's it's okay for me. Now with this, this is what was there. Mm -hmm. Now if the cows don't eat, because I'm doing the I'm doing the farmyard manure. Yes. This will be a very big plus for for the for the crops. Ah okay. Now I think we watch it from the front. Yes. The milling. Oh, can just come come from this side. Is this, these are from Bembe. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, these are from Bembe. This is uh, my panicum. panicum so you yes. chop up the mix. Uh -huh. And then the ratios for the grains, that is the secret. Yeah. 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 You can see the whole team is there. One at one, Anuma. Nice. Yeah. Let's go see where the it all begins. Uh, yeah. Oh. Granary. Yeah? This is a granary. Yes. If you ever go to a home, there's no granary. There's yeah. no food. Yeah. <laughs> so this being marine feedlot yes. uh, farm, uh -huh. our home, mm -hmm. we start with the granary. Yes. So we have a problem. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of maize that you don't have a storage. Okay. We've done 60 acres. Uh -huh. Uh, we are expecting almost uh, 250 to 300 bags of maize. Yes. Yes. Uh, so you, ha you, you have to look for storage. Yes, yes. So now that, this one. All that maize is meant to make the... For animals, nothing. Uh, yes, feed. yes. Oh, of oh. course, for my staff, will have some feed. Yes. Round the year. Yes. Akuna mamba, akuna unga sima. Yeah. Yeah. And then you've seen we have a kisiagi, everything that is here. Yes. We are well sorted. Ah, okay. Uh, nice. Yeah. Let's go see where the maize comes from. Yes. Miona, this is the mother, the mother of everything. Mm -hmm. Now, let me give you the, the story about this maze. Mm -hmm. yeah. now, now, here, all the nutrients has come to the maze. Yes. It has come to the maze. Now, it comes, just come to the maze, mm -hmm. I'll dry the maze, mm -hmm. and then I'll mill the maze, I'll do maze jam, I'll yes. do anything, I'll do njenga with it. Yes. And then I'll have the maze cob. From the maize cob, I still uh, process it and then mix it with the maize tovers. Mix it with, it will be a concussion of the right uh, meal for the animal. Yes. My cue, mm -hmm. people, what people don't understand, animals usually need a balanced diet. Yes. And then when you give it a balanced diet, you don't give it in large quantities, yes. give it in the right sizes, 3% yes. of the body weight. Okay. Please. Yes. And then I'm, you're sorted. No wonder you, you wear them every month. Yes, 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 yes. The... Yes, 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 yes. Okay. For me now to give the right formulation. Ah, okay. And then you're, you're done. Uh, behind me, mm -hmm. I've only harvested, I think, almost one and a half acres. Mm -hmm. There's another 43 acres waiting to be harvested. Yes. Of, of, of just me. Yes. Ah, nice. Yes. So this is what uh, food security means. Food security. Now all this is done in, uh, it's rain fed. Rain fed. The planted date was uh, between 15th November and 17th. Yes. No, and 20th. And 20th. Yes. So which maize variety is this? Now, uh, for the avoidance, DK have not paid me. Monsanto have not paid me. <laughs> this is DK triple seven. Yes. Now the maize that I can assure and uh, without the fear of contradiction, there are two maize breeds that I can I'll always ad advise for farmers along this side. Mm -hmm. DK triple seven mm -hmm. and uh, Savo. W E forty one forty one. Yes, that is super. 
Wow. Those are stovers. Uh, I harvested wrongly, but now, as you can see, th these are the parts. It needs to be very clean. Yes. Yes. So that now the land preparation can start even it immediately. Yes. Yes. So that, that is your cheat code because I'm looking at your neighbors. Yes. And uh, their lazy <laughs> is not as. Uh, the reason. Nothing near to this. What happens? Uh, they usually do the traditional way. Yes. They look at Ile Naka and Begu, yes. they harvest, you know, they recycle. Yes. My, mine, I do a hybrid. Yes. Uh, DK777 mm -hmm. and uh, WE, Savo WE4141. Yes. Anytime for the cost. That one will work so well. But With, uh, 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 you, you've mentioned something here. Yes. And uh, I want to get uh, your perspective yes. now because yes. uh, comparing to the neighbors. Yes. Uh, obviously, you're able to do this because you're informed. Yes. The importance yes. of information. Yes. In agriculture. In agriculture. Yes. Or whatever this, uh, we, we are doing. Eh? Yes. I don't think we can over emphasize it. Now, let me say yes. information is power. Information and I repeat, is, information yes. is power. Yes. If I was not informed, I would be doing everything wrong. Yes. You can look at them, my maze is mm -hmm. well, well uh, spaced yes. and I get the proper results. Yes. I give everything at the right stage. Remember, the, I, didn't, I did no herbicide, no pesticide in this maze. Mm -hmm. It's under uh, no fertilizer, no manure. Yes. Uh, it is just being right. Yes. Yes. You've done that to reduce cost. Thank you. Now, 70% of my animal feed, mm -hmm. I already have already sorted. Yes. Yes. Nice. Yes. You're an irrigation expert. <laughs> Most people know you as an irrigation expert. Much Mudama, yes. uh, the irrigation guru. Yes, yes. Now, um, it reaches to a point where irrigation cannot be applied. Yes. Uh, the rain pattern here is very, very, very bad. Mm -hmm. Actually, where I'm, where I'm standing, uh, we receive less than 400 millimeters per year. Yes. So it opts, it opts for the irrigation. Yes. Uh, we did a shallow well. The salinity levels are too high. Yes. Three, four times what is in the ocean. And this has been caused by all these guys who are harvesting uh, salt. Yes. So all those salt dikes. So they spill over, they come to our levels. So whatever water you're getting, it is four times the salinity of the ocean. Yes. However, mm -hmm. as you can see just behind me, uh, we did some trials, eh? the green patch. Eh? Yes. We, we've been uh, pumping out water from the, our Sorry. shallow wells yes. to here. Ah, okay. So, so you've, it, it, this one has given us a reason. Oh, so grass does, doesn't matter about the salinity. Mm -hmm. Now it spoils the soil. So what you're doing, mm -hmm. you're treating the soil with cow dung. Uh -huh. Okay? Yes. You're treating the soil with cow dung. Manure? Yes. Mm -hmm. So it's making a lot of sense. Ah, okay. Yes. So, so I can be able now to do the irrigation. Oh, the irrigation. Yes. So this was a, a trial. Trial, trial, trial. Oh, okay. Nice. Yes. P panicum. Panicum. Yes. Ah, okay. Let's let's look at, uh, you said you have uh, the next, and uh, the next farm you have uh, millet, right? Yeah, so, uh, sorghum, 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 sorghum. Okay. Yes. Nice. So, which crop is this? Sim Sim. Oh, this is Sim Sim. Sim Sim, yes. I've done it very simple mm -hmm. for my protein. Yes. My protein and oils. Yes. Now, what, what will happen? I'll chop it from the bottom. Mm -hmm. uh, this, this other side is uh, panicum. Please yes. come and see. This is panicum. Mm -hmm. Mix it with my Sim Sim. Mm -hmm. And then I silage it. Oh, okay, together. Yes. Uh -huh. And then now, during my mixture, mm -hmm. I'll mix this mm -hmm. and the dry matter. Mm -hmm. Now, I'll have the roughage and I'll have the proteins. Yes sorted at a go at one meal yes nyama na ugali yes one meal B balanced diet yes nice yes this one has oils is very rich with the uh, micronutrients yes i'm done and uh, this is also rain fed yes rain fed uh, it does it seems like it does well in the area now what i've, what I've realized you know all this was a trial of five acres mm -hmm. uh now my protein will be sorted yes because I had a challenge with green lucerne. Yes. Now this one, mm -hmm. with the in, when I silage it, mm -hmm. and then it has panicum, and then I mix it with this, yeah. both it will be a very nice ugalu. And, and, and the stems? Uh, yes, everything, everything, total, total. They're able to Yes, yes, uh, to be eaten, yes, yes, ah, okay. yes. Nice. Yes. So they are 
nine there are million ways to skin a cat yes 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 <laughs> now my protein here is sorted yeah, yeah. uh it in a very cheaper way very fast way mm -hmm. and then you see now it will be built together with my panicum panicum yes and here, yeah. yes so you also that's... want to understand some yeah. uh, uh thing or two about this panicum because it's it's not popular it's it's, not uh, seen, uh, let me let me first because panicum i'll take you there this okay. is sim sim i know very many kenyans have never seen sim sim yeah. very many people in the world don't know what sim sim is mm -hmm. now now i'll chop it from the the, uh, the bottom mm -hmm. let it wilt mm -hmm. two days yes. and then I, I i i silage yes now once i silage after 21 days it'll be ready i'll be mixing it with my dry matter yes. because it's also chopped yes so now in different ratios yes my protein and my forage. my yeah, forage yes roughage roughage mm -hmm. yes forage roughage <laughs> my friend yes we're from my sim sim mm -hmm. sugar graze yes also on the energy yes now it's slightly it has superseded yes. but i'll show you in the front the front part eh? yes. what happens you cut let mm -hmm. it wilt yes chop it for the animals mm -hmm. you're good to go energy this is energy this is energy yes the finisher part and also the starter part yes it's quite key uh -huh. yes so the the, the, the grain or the uh, no 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 everything as everything. it is okay. you chop it from the ground and then it ratoons a new one yes i'll show you in the, the same farm no rains no nothing yes. the ratoon has already started coming up without oh. rains now with the rains it will be 100 percent yes so what is the time frame for this one to get to one and a half months for, for it plus the height one and a half months yes yes that is about what five days yes it's supposed to be harvested every for five eh? yes no no for after the, the first harvest yes. but after that after every 28 days mm -hmm. with irrigation you, you are able to get oh, yes. Okay. yes and uh it how is the approximated uh, yield yield per acre? uh per acre uh per acre when because i do it in bales mm -hmm. i'll i get uh 320 bales of 20 kgs wow so that's about six zero, zero. Yeah. Uh, uh. This one I'm sorted. Sugar graze, mm -hmm. uh, it's very good. It has exceeded my expectation. Oh, yeah. Yes. So um, I've seen it in uh, with the dairy guys. Yes. Uh, they also trying. I'm I'm generating energy for the to fatten my animal. Oh, okay. Yes. Them they are doing to fat, to get milk. Milk. Yes. yes. Mine is to get the meat. Ah, yes. yes. So you would uh, in, in in this region it does well. I because, uh, can see the height. Let me take this opportunity and say sorghum and maize does so well in the driest parts of yes. Kenya. Please, dryness is still in our brains. Yes. I want us to look at the sun. This is yes, this sun is the there. soil. Show them the soil. This is the soil. Wow. Does very well. Zero irrigation. Zero irrigation. With irrigation, it is can... ten times. Yeah. Ten times. Yeah. The turnover will be fast. Ten times. Let me show you, I'll show you a part here, a bit in the farm, mm -hmm. whereby, whereby no irrigation, I just harvested, mm -hmm. and the ratooning has already started. Yes. So, supposing I had the, the, the irrigation, my yes. friend. Hey, something else. So, for, for, for this kind of uh, scale. Yes. To be, to, for, the, for efficiency. Yes. You have to mechanize. Me mechanization, no two ways. However, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, I'm at the coast. Yes. I'm trying my CSR mm -hmm. as a marine feedlot farm. Yes. I want to train the locals, the yes. neighbors. Yes. Let them come and see, watch, learn, and go and implement at your place. Oh, nice. I want them to be my satellite farmers. Yes. I want to engage them. Yes. There's a lot of reality in uh, in farming. Yes. Let me show you Things here. Things you can learn in school. Yes. Uh, funnily, mm -hmm. uh, uh, how do you call this? Uh, the, the the main irrigation scheme, yeah. uh, Galana Kulala. Galana, it's yeah. in the same same county. Yeah, yeah passed by yes. uh, uh, yes, Galana yes, River. Yes, down, yes, yes. Just down now this is the same county. This ah. is the driest part. Yeah. We want to remove that narrative of dryness. We sure. want to make this productive from dryness for pro production. Come, let me show you. Here, uh -huh. I just harvested. Mm -hmm. Uh, this, the, this, this one needs to be collected yes. for to the farm. This is a new ratoon. You can see, no rains, no nothing. No rains, no nothing. No rains, no nothing. That is the result.
No rains, no nothing. Sorry. Just need to be also on the same page. Eh? No rains. No nothing. No nothing. Supposing with the rains, I'm in another world. It's also, it's also saying something about the fertility of the Thank you. Soil fertility and not fertility, suitability. Suitability. Uh, there's a suitability now will carry the fertility, the everything yes. of the land. And then it's moisture. It, it's dry up, yes. but beneath it's moist. So that means it, it can grow. Wow. It's able to hold a bit of... Uh, yes. Moisture. Now, come, let me show you about the super suitability. Yes. Also here, mm -hmm. this is panicum. Yes. I also tried a small portion. I mm -hmm. cut it. I cut it. Mm -hmm. You can see the ratooning is very fast, very vigorous. Yes. Right? Yeah. The panicum. You can see the, uh, the one that I've not harvested. Yes. So, so how if, long ago was this cut? Uh, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Yes. Two weeks ago. And you haven't received rain? No since. rains, no nothing. I'm just hearing the rest of Kenya is raining. Yes. No nothing. Panicum is the mother. Now this is the rhodes grass of the coast. Ah, nice. This is the rhodes grass. Yes. Nutrient content between five. Now this, now this one, uh, protein, crude protein is five percent yes. because it, I let it uh, seed. Yes. If I had not let it seed, mm -hmm. it would have done to eighteen percent. Look at the roughage. Look at the size of the leaf, oh, my wow. friend. This is the rhodes grass of the coast. Wow. Easy to propagate, easy to very easy. harvest and bail. Very easy. Harvest and bail is still standard. Yes. Propagation is still standard. Very easy. Wow. Yes. I've never heard of this. You have now heard it. <laughs> yes. Crop. Now, yes. Ah. Uh, so you can look at the height. It's much bigger, yeah. taller than uh, rhodes grass. Bomber rhodes. Yeah. Yes. Call it bomber rhodes, uh -huh. rhodes grass. Yes. Yes. Does it do well in... Uh, Average or high? If altitude. it's doing well in the driest part and lowland, yes. how will it will exceed? Really? <laughs> it will do better. Kushikingi. Now, if I add irrigation, it will be much better. Kushikingi Kwanamengi. Yes. Syndrome. True. And now this is good. Yes. So, you, uh, how long does it take again from? Uh, seed to 42, 40, not, not from seed, eh. from proper, there are two, there are two ways, either do the seed uh -huh. or uh, you remove the ratoon, yes. you plant, oh, you plant yes, the yes, suckers, yes, okay. yes, 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 the suckers. So which is easier? Either way, if you have the seeds, do it, yes. if you have the seeds, you'll have a longer way, Yes. you'll have a longer time, mm -hmm. but you'll have it, it will be a 60 to 75 days, yes. but with the ratooning, yes. it's uh, 40, 45, 42 days. 40, 40, 40 yes. 42 days, yes. and can, can you graze on it? No, no, no. Uh, yes, you can graze. That is the silly way. Mm -hmm. Let me say the Pumbavu way of uh, farming. Yes. Why would I? Because the cow will come mm -hmm. and pull from the ground and remove from there, remove even the, the, the roots. Yes. Now, why don't you cut it? Yes. Dry it, chop it, give it to the animal. Yes. And then now it will give you more shoots. Yes. If you graze here, mm -hmm. you'll have less than one year to harvest. Oh, okay. Now, if I chop it and uh, continue, mm -hmm. I'll harvest for the next six years oh, nice. comfortably. That's the secret. Yes. Not the secret. That is the reality. That's the People reality. go the wrong way. Grazing directly on it, that's mm -hmm. the wrong way, wrongest way. Oh, okay. Yes. And then remember, mm -hmm. where there is grass, mm -hmm. the snake content is 100%. Yes. Because the more the grass, the more the snakes. So you coexist with the reptiles. Nice. Yeah, with the... With, with the so as a precaution, we have the antivenom. Mm -hmm. Uh, for Pafada because that's the most common uh, snake around here. Wow. Yes. So you'll be walking randomly and... No, yes, yes, voila. yes. Cautiously, you walk cautiously now. Okay. No, Matt, this is, this is good. Thank this you. This is uh, thank you. wonderful. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. So what happens now from the... the that's why you call it a feed lot. Mm -hmm. The feed yes. and the lot, you, the, the animal lot. Yes. So you do the combination, mm -hmm. it becomes a feed lot. So this is the backbone of feed lot. Yes. If you don't have the feeds, and then like you're buying the feeds and then bring it to the feed lot, mm -hmm. that is... Look for a different different name. Now this is what this is what you call a feed lot. Yes. Oh. Sour, sour. These are my neighbors. This is me. Yeah. This is what you call Usiku Namchana. Different. Yeah. 
So you can imagine after after like two months, yes. all these will wither down yes. with the sun. Yes. And uh, it will ba be back to square one. Yes. Uh, no. You can yeah. see that now, but I've really insisted mm -hmm. uh, for the neighbor to bring either the son or the daughter, they come and they learn. Yes. I'll pay them for that yes. to learn. Yes. They I mean, they'll be working at my farm yes. as they learn so they yeah. can implement at their farm. Yeah. Yes. It's the best way to learn. Yes. Yeah. You, you learn on the job. Yes. So we head to your receiving area. Yes. Where you, you hold your kettle yes. once they, they arrive. Yes. Okay. Yes. This is the receiving bay. Yes. So normally I will not bring, I always bring the big truck. Yes. You don't do small trucks. Yes. It comes, lands here. Mm -hmm. They are received. There is a, this, this is my quarantine. Yes. Eh? Karatina. Mm -hmm. eh? This is my karatina. This is my quarantine. Mm -hmm. So when they, they, they enter here, they are received. No water, no nothing. Mm -hmm. So they are fed on grass. Yes. Which, Once, which grass? Uh, my my panicum. Oh, panicum. Yes, I give them a very nice ratio. Okay. They, they eat. They eat well. Mm -hmm. Once they eat well, uh, you observe. They do a physical observation. Yes. Which one looks weak? Which one? Which one has the shipping fever? Yes. You try and control that shipping fever. Mm -hmm. Once you are done. Once you do that, mm -hmm. uh, they come in. The one two days, you mm -hmm. feed them with the water. Don't let them out completely. Yes. You look at them physically. Yes. The third day is when they enter the deep. They mm -hmm. go to the second crash. Okay. Once they enter the deep, mm -hmm. please let me show you. Once they enter the deep, mm -hmm. now you you want to understand you 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 will have accepted them yes. inside your farm. Yes. So when you enter the deep, mm -hmm. they leave all their ticks, all their mites, anything. Yes. To the deep. So in the deep. Yes. You take them once you can look at the deep how it looks like. Yes. It's a standard deep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is for Marereni feedlot. That's a deep. The lighting may be a bit, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You look at the dip, mm -hmm. and then they go to the second crash. Now that second crash, mm -hmm. you have accepted them partially to the farm. Yes. And then you weigh them, record, they enter the feedlot. Yes. Now this is where I do my weighing, I do my vaccines from here, I do my ear tagging, ear notching, all everything. So from the after weighing, uh, when I'm weighing, I squeeze the animal inside. It yes. is held, mm -hmm. right? And then the, the front part, this front part, the, yeah, the, the, the animal, this is the, once it br brings his head, you capture the head. Uh -huh. Once you capture the head, now you can squeeze the animal tight. So you do everything, the vaccines, everything. So it's, it's held easily for you. Nice. So it comes in through the crash. Yes. Let me show you, it comes in through the crash. This is a better view. <coughs> Normally this is my quarantine. Yes. Normally this is a quarantine. Mm -hmm. I hold them here. Uh, I'll show you, this is the last part of the quarantine. Yeah? Okay. You know, the way in and then you mark it, label, move on to the next part. So that's a master shoot. Yes. Nice.